Hello, today we'll talk about card price rule section in Magenta 2 First of all, in the promotion section in marketing, under the promotions, you can find card price rules. Okay, here you can set up different promotions and discounts that are only related to the product in the customer's shopping cart. First thing that appears after you open this field is table with already existing rules. To edit a rule, click on it and you have the ability to add something or to change something. Okay, and if you want to add a new rule, click on the add new rule button. On this page you can find four sections. First goes rule information, then conditions, actions and labels. Let's start with the rule information. First goes rule name. You can write any name here as it's for internal use. Just try to write something that will help you to associate the name of the rule with promotion itself. We'll write um okay save seventy percent. Okay, then goes description. Here you can write any information relating to the card rule. This description is also only for internal use and if you want you can just skip it and leave it empty. Third goes status. Here you can select whether your price rule is active or inactive. Websites. Here you can select websites to apply the rule. But we've got only our main website. Okay, next goes customer groups. Uh, in this field, you have an ability to select which customer groups can use card promotion rule. It can be either one group, for example, general, or two groups retailer, or just all groups. Next goes coupon. You can either put specific coupon, and in this case, you'll generate. You can generate the coupon by use auto generator. Or just write coupon code like this or H H O for example. Okay, and next goes uses per coupon and users per customer. Here you can set how often the rule will be used. And uh, by these two fields you can Restrict customers to use the rule only once or to use uh, coupon only one. So we'll put one, one, for example. Okay. From date and to date, in this field, specify the dates for which rule will be valid. Um, well, the starting date will be 16th and the ending will be, for example, 35th. First. It's very convenient with the help of the calendar. Priority. Uh, set the priority in case you have many card rules. We'll put, for example, priority 1. It's the highest one. Next, the last field is public in RSS feed. This section uh, gives you an ability to select if the rule is published in the RSS feed or no. We'll put yes. Then don't forget to press save. And let's go further. Okay, the next field called conditions. This tab helps you to specify your card rule. Uh, in general, the principle of adding conditions to card is the same as in the previous video called catalog price rules. So I'll just uh, go further. And if you want to look how to specify these conditions, go to our video called Catalog Price Rules. So let's go further, Actions. Here you can select actions for card rules. For example, first goes Apply, and here you select how your discount will be calculated. First goes Discount of Product Price, uh, I'm so sorry, Percent of Product Price Discount. This uh, in this case, discount will be calculated as the percentage of the original price. For example, if the product costs $50 and will have 10% discount, then the final price will be 45
Next goes fixed amount discount. This means that you will subtract a fixed sum from your original price. For example, if the product costs $50 and discount is 10, the final price will be $40. Next goes fixed amount discount for whole cart. Discount will be applied for the whole cart, not only for cart items. For example, you have a 10% discount and two items in the cart, $50 each. In total, your sum is 100 minus discount, so after all, you have to pay 90 for two products. And the last one, last shipping method is buy X got Y free and the rule is if you buy X you get Y for free in the field of discount amount here you should put the number of items that clients get for free for example one and in the field discount quantity step you should put the number of products one have to order to get the discount this discount We'll put, for example, 5. OK. So promotion will be applied to every product which is in the cart. However, if you want to apply it only to one particular product, you can make it with the help of uh, the field called apply the rule only to cart items matching the following conditions. And here you create the conditions have the ability to create the conditions with different options. Okay, so let's come back. Now, the second field called discount amount. Here you should set the number of uh, discount. For example, if we have percent of product price discount, then here we'll put, for example, 10 or 70%, uh, something like that. Next goes maximum quantity discount is applied to. In case you set this to zero, it means that promotion is available to any quantity. If you want the discount to be applied from limited number of items, just set the necessary quantity in this field. For example, three. So discount quantity step by X. As I have already mentioned, this field is relevant if you select in the apply by X, this one. And uh, here you have the option to set the number of products that clients should order to get a cer certain number of products for free. However, this option also works with other methods. For example, if in the apply we choose percent of products price discount, and uh, you set 10% and the or 70% or like okay let's put 10% in the discount amount and 2 in the discount quantity step for example um so if a client puts more than two items in the cart he or she gets 10% discount or 70% discount, or I don't know, as many as you said here, for each product of this, for each product of this. Okay, so uh, next goes apply to shipping amount. Here you can set yes or no. Yes means that discount should be applied for the shipping amount, as you can understand. Then goes discard subsequent rules. You can also choose yes or no, for example yes. And uh, the last one goes free shipping. Uh, as you can see by default it's no, but if you choose for matching items only, no shipping charges will be calculated for the product in the cart to which the rule applies. And the third choice is for ship shipment with matching items. If there are products in the cart which correspond to the rules, uh, the rule, then there will be no shipping charges for the whole supplement. Okay, so don't forget to press save 
And let's go further. So, next goes labels. Labels allows you to set uh, labels <laughs> for discount, for default, and store views. On this page, you can type the label as it will appear in all store view in the field default rule label for, for all store views. You can, for example, write here test, and this will be the name. And um, or you have the ability to set it differently per store view in the field default store view. You can write it um, high, for example. Okay, and in case you left this field empty, like this, I'm so sorry. Uh, the discount of the front end will just be uh, labeled as and named as discount. So now everything set. Don't forget to press save and uh, let's go further. After you have created your new rule, Magenta gives you an option to uh, manage coupon codes. You can find this field in the already existing rules under the label tab. Here's the Manage Coupon co Code tab. First of all, uh, as, you, as you know, this tab helps you to generate coupon codes. But first of all, in the rule information, you should choose in the field coupon, you should choose specific coupon as we already did. And here, put a tick under Use Auto Generation checkbox. And after that, you can start creating your manage your coupon codes. Okay, you can see that here's the fields coupon quantity. For example, you put it, you set how many, for example, five, then code length, then uh, code format. It can be either alphabetic, numerical, or alphanumeric. Uh, code prefix, or you can s either set it or leave it empty. Code suffix, and da dash every x check. Here, uh, this field uh, gives you a possibility to define a number of x charts after which a hyphen will be inserted. For example, if you set the attribute dash every x charters to four, for example. Then the code generator will have the format 4x's, then hyphen, then 4x's, then hyphen, then 4x's. So after that, press generate button and a list of uh, shopping cart coupons will be generated. And this section will inform you if the coupon codes have been used in the number of items that uh, coupon codes was used. Okay, so now we've done everything and we set everything. We uh, saved our changes, we saved our new card price rule. So we did everything. Good job. Thank you for your attention.